Hi, so I'm walking back. I've got one coffee today, a couple donuts. I'm walking home. It feels like a time for a, a philosophical discussion. I have so many unanswered questions, and so I'm baffled with choices to be made. And if, if one was to believe in another something, I'm not religious, I'm just saying, if I were religious, how do you know what to sign for something? A choice to be made. Um, because right now, okay, so I'm flooded, this is it. I'm flooded with, uh, what do I do? I'm running out of money. Um, I might have enough for a new computer. I might not. Uh, I don't want to leave um, my belongings. Because, you know, that's, a, that's all of me. That's everything that I am left. Um, and so today, you know, walking up the street, cried even, uh, flooded with these thoughts. An, an opportunity, or not an opportunity, um, buggy with four wheels that's much easier to maneuver and it holds a lot more stuff uh, is presented to me um, so I grabbed it and um, you know okay so if I was to take this as a sign as the choice to be made as what choice I was to, to make I would say um, this buggy was presented to me to move. Take your belongings, Martin, because they mean very much to you. You can't take it all, but look at from that size to this size. Um, move. And, because you can't stay there any longer. Something's wrong, something's happening, something's not right, whatever it is. I gotta make a choice and a decision as to what. Um, I need medical care. My hands and arms are like numb and they go cold, which makes me worry that, you know, they turn one morning I wake up, they're black. Um, I reached out to Mike today, crying, save me, help me. If you cared anything about me at all, please, please save me. You know, meth is killing me. I'm dying. But this buggy, um, just, if one thing led to another and a choice was to be made without your knowledge and uh, you took all the things that are in front of you in order to you know, determine what, what the best choice or decision is to be, this is a sign. Because like when I prayed for that money, when I prayed for that buggy, I got it. When I prayed for that m b money, I got it. And how it went so fast and how much I lost out of that. You know what I mean? Like it showed me that, look at what greed did to me. Or not greed, because um, that was all mine. but. Um, what the hell? Look at what, um, look what evil that, that, that possessed. I, I bought things, I lost them instantly. I, I bought other things, I lost uh, things that were very, very um, sensitive to me. Um, not sensitive, but um, valuable is the word. Uh, valuable to me as a life lesson. Look what, look it, just look at what it's done to me. So this morning I woke up frozen. Um, I mean, I have a little good spot uh, for a fire under the table. I'm worried that it might catch the table on fire at one point, but, you know. Uh, that's just it. Martin's trip to BC, and he burns it down. Um, so today's, you know, I'm heading back early. I thought I'd walk through the park to see if ja or Roy was here, but he's not here. Um, so I'm just going to head back and, and work on my shit. But then I'll, I don't know if I should move. One, I thought about moving closer, because uh, it is quite the journey uh, back there. And two was um, to move further. Um, I'm very, very scared that somebody's going to rob me again. Five times, you know. So I don't know, should I go and try to make uh, this house work right now? Or, um, you know, cut my losses at that location and scout for a new one. The answer should be just clear, you know. It's not very clear at all. Um, so, so far, this buggy's been proven to be okay. Uh, a little rough right now, dragging in the gravel, but um, it's got room for upgrade wheels. Like, I can get big, soft, squishy wheels, um, but that costs money. And I'm okay with that, you know what I mean? What the hell does four wheels uh, cost you? Because <laughs> there's room on the frame. Um, I have a small amount of wood that I can re re uh, not restructure, but you know, reinforce 
uh, it so it can hold more. It has all those wire grates on the side, which I have all those ding-dongs to hook. Like my tent hook, um, the sleeping bags hook, my chair hooks, lawn chairs, um, you know, all kinds of things hook. And so, um, I'm gonna find a spot to sit somewhere, smoke, smoke a bowl. Let's go in here, I guess. And it doesn't turn, which is a big dilemma for me. Um, oh, it goes nice in the woods, as long as there's no craters, but it's got four wheels, so therefore it's not going to tip on me like the other one did. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do, I guess. I'm riddled. I'm just, I'm so riddled. Like, part of me, I need to, you know, go back to Ontario and face the consequences. Uh, just to be with my family and my, fr you know, Mike and... Like, what will he do if he sees me? Will he call the cops on me? Or, you know, will, will he try to hit me? As I, I will, you know, obviously I'm going to defend myself. I buy a new knife. Like, parts of me are telling me to break the law. Uh, to gain. And I can't. It's not me. Anyway, um, I'm going to sit here and smoke a bowl. Um, and then I'm going to head home. When I get there, I guess I'll make a decision as... Because the looks of my place is awful. It's just awful. That raccoon just killed me. Isn't that awful? Got traced out of Stanley Park by a raccoon. <laughs> if it wasn't so fucking funny, I'd cry. Uh, yeah, I'm going to cross the road to a better place. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.